Uh, hello, hello, welcome to the next video. Uh, in the previous video, we have created our first test cafe test. Uh, but as you can see, we only typed something and clicked, but we didn't perform any assertion. So we need to do it in this video because we didn't actually check if what we have done was done successfully. We know that we successfully filled the input and clicked on the submit button, but we actually didn't check what happened after that. So we will need to do it in this video. But before we start, I wanted to point one important thing. And that is, as you already know, uh, Test Cafe handles every waiting and XHR requests automatically. So you don't need to type any wait for and pauses like you are doing in Selenium. Uh, I have seen a lot of Selenium guys doing it because the Selenium doesn't handle this automatically. And that's a very big difference between Selenium and Test Cafe. Here uh, in Selenium, we would typically type something wait for selector developer name before you actually interact with it. But here in Test Cafe, you just don't. Because the test controller will automatically wait until the developer name selector is visible and then it will fill it. And same with the submit button, it automatically waits until the submit button is available for us and then it will perform the click action. So uh, compared to Selenium, there are no more pauses, no static waiting, no explicit waiting, and none of this. And that's what makes Test Cafe so powerful and robust tool, because the tests are not flaky, they are very flaky resistant. You don't, then you don't need to write a lot of waiting code. So the test code is much like slower, uh, not slower, lower. And you can develop much faster because uh, you need much less lines of code to actually perform all the tests. So remember, if you are coming from Selenium or maybe even Puppeteer, no more waiting here. Everything is handled automatically. So let's now continue. Well, if you look back into the example, if we actually fill the name and if we click on the submit, it will automatically navigate us to this thank you website and it would make sure that we after we submit it we should check that the message contains the name we have submitted there so let's inspect and let's find the element which we might check and as you can see we have this h1 with article header id and it contains the text thank you john so it will make sense to grab this article header as selector. So let's grab it and let's go back to our test editor. And here, after we have performed all the actions, we should call the expect method. So we want to call await t.expect. And basically what the expect method is, it basically takes two parameters. Uh, one is the actual value and the second is expected value and it will do a comparison or it depends what you choose and if the result is true it will mark the test as passed because it did what it was expected but if not it will mark the test as failed and it will show you in the result that hey these uh, values are different they should be different they should be the same for example but they are not i'm gonna marking the test as failed and go check it out what went wrong so inside the expect method as you can see i need to pass the actual value and here i can actually pass the selector which we have imported here and grab the value of that selector which i have picked there so it's id article and i want to grab the inner text from it the attribute or the value of the inner text which is this this sentence right here and i want to check that it actually contains word john and save it and actually what it does it will go to that website it will fill the input 
it will submit the value then it will wait until the thank you message is loaded and it will grab the selector article header and it will extract the end text from it and mark it as a actual value and it will check if that inner text contains the keyword John which we have uh, used here so let's now try to run the test so npm run test and as you can see everything is working fine because the application is working and it got the expected result but for example what if i try to instead of john i would like to make it to contains peter now there is no peter so the test should actually fail so let's try it out i'm gonna run the test again And as you can see, it is waiting for assertion. Now it failed. And if we scroll up here, the test cafe will give us a very awesome like overview of what went wrong. We see that in my first test, which is here, my first test cafe test, inside the fixture of getting started with test cafe, we have an assertion error, which means some of our expect functions expected, thank you, John, to include the keyword Peter, but the Peter is not here, dear, because we were successfully submitting the keyword John, or not the keyword, it's actually the name. So, and it also shows us which line of code this happened on, it happened on this line of code 11, which is expected, and we have one of one failed. So you see, the test correctly shows us that the test is failing because there is no Peter. And if we now put it back to John, now the test should be green again because it will be correct. You see, and the test is green again. We can now clear the terminal. And again, no, no waiting, no pause, no explicit, no, expli no implicit waiting. Everything is handled automatically. So the test code is actually extremely clean and short. So I think that's it. And actually in the next video, I'm going to show you how to implement more test scripts because we can now put some parameters and configurations. So I think it's cool to do it in the next video. So see you there.